Welcome, everybody. I'm Greg Demetrio, the host of Ask a CEO. Today, we have a very special guest in the person of Jared Taylor. He's a leader and an innovator in the healthcare space. So Jared is the founder and CEO of Block Health, as well as the founder and host of the Slice of Healthcare podcast. He's an author, a keynote speaker. He graduated magna cum laude from Franklin Pierce University. And this is really interesting. His LinkedIn profile says that he finished college in two and a half years, and then he went on to pay off all his student debt in two years. That is pretty impressive indeed. Welcome to the show, Jared. Yeah, thank you for having me. Oh, you're quite welcome, quite welcome. So it's very interesting. Could you tell the story, the, the audience, I'm sorry, the audience uh, CEOs and up and coming CEOs of the path to founding Block Health and working with medical professionals? Yeah, so my kind of career took an interesting journey. I always thought I wanted to be in the investment banking space. All my internships were either private equity or investment banking focused all throughout college. And then I eventually graduated, got a job at a telecommunications a small investment bank in New Hampshire. And after six months, I realized that I hated it. <laughs> not, not that I, I didn't like doing like the analysis on, on different companies, but I always was like doing something uh, for a company that I was interested in. Now I had to do it for a company that someone else was interested in acquiring. And it just wasn't, it wasn't what I expected. So I had the opportunity to shift uh, my career at, you know, at a very early point into actually the healthcare staffing and consulting space. Mm -hmm. Another company in New Hampshire reached out, uh, Medicus Healthcare Solutions. I was a business development executive there focusing on forming relationships with anesthesia management groups, hospital medicine groups, and, and health systems and ambulatory surgical centers. And that is where I really learned about, excuse me, that's where I really learned about uh, the onboarding process of a healthcare professional. And after some time there, I decided to leave and originally founded Block Health as a healthcare staffing marketplace for nurse anesthetists and anesthesiologists. So that, that was your original concept was a staffing service, but I know you've gone through several iterations of yourself and you wind up in a different place. Could you tell us about that? Yeah. So it was actually because of a, a major pain that we had in the staffing space that brought us to where we are today. So we had a big opportunity and we needed to get a healthcare professional that was out of state, several of them, uh, licensed and verified so that they could work at a, at a certain healthcare facility. It ended up taking very long for it to happen. And all of the professionals ended up backing out, which created a really big scar tissue within uh, you know, everyone on the team. And that's where we decided to pivot after doing a lot of research to we're going to be a credentialing technology company that helps healthcare professionals and organizations store their information in our system, verify the information. And uh, yeah. So that's very interesting to me because my son is a doctor and how would that benefit him working with you guys? So if it was individually, he would be allowed to store all of his credentials on the platform, licenses, certificates. Uh, he'd be able to receive expiration notifications uh, several months out so that he's not having any of his licenses lapse. He'd be able to share that information with his hiring organization or groups that he's affiliated with. And then he'd be able to order any service based on a smart universal common app we put together. Mm -hmm. So he'd enter, uh, he'd enter, submit information once, and then can use that to order any type of service, licenses, being verified, renewing license, and so on. Interesting. Very interesting. It's a little different than anything that I know about in the marketplace. So it's really kind of cool. How does Block Health do what it does today? What's the, what's the mission and, and the vision for what you're doing today? And how do you actually bring that to market? Our vision is to build the healthcare, uh, the ecosystem of healthcare services and solutions to power the future of healthcare. And what that means is we want to create a one-stop shop where the healthcare professional and organization can access all of the administrative tasks that their data can be used for in one location. Mm -hmm. So they can enter information once, they can pull in information from various sources, and then use that information to save valuable time that they could be focusing on patients, uh, outcomes, 
their own experiences, revenue, and then spending time with their families if they have them. Mm. And we are forming relationships with like membership associations that are like nonprofits that work with all these healthcare professionals, and then just going directly to the healthcare organizations themselves, telling them how we can help their department and help their professionals save time on these type of tasks. Lorraine Gregory is an award-winning integrated marketing agency telling personal and brand stories for more than 30 years. They partner with companies helping them reach the right audience with the right message on the right platform at the right time. Check them out today at LorraineGregory.com. You, you've also created something called the Slice of Healthcare podcast. Tell me about that. How, what was the idea behind that? And, and what's the show all about? So the Slice of Healthcare podcast was started shortly after I started Block Health. And I've always been very interested in learning about new healthcare entrepreneurs, startups, professionals in the space. And I wanted an outlet where I was already having these conversations on the phone where I could record them and publish it so that Dan can hear it. And it had a lot of success, a lot of fun with it. I've met a lot of great people as a result. We're uh, over 50 episodes through right now. We've definitely had points where we've lapsed in releasing episodes because things have gotten busy with Block Health. Mm. But we, uh, we have actually a, a very large queue. And right now, it seems like our, our niche is uh, telehealth and digital executives and learning more about how they started, how they got to where they are today, mm. what does the future look like, and what do they do? Right. Uh, so yeah, we just really focus in on learning more about innovative companies and entrepreneurs in the healthcare space. You have a profile of who's uh, downloading, who's listening? Yeah, it's really been a mixture of healthcare membership association, like those executives that are leading the nonprofits, the healthcare professionals themselves, and then other interested entrepreneurs and digital health employees and uh, right. executives in the space. It's very interesting that you, we're, we're talking on a podcast now. We have a video version and a podcast version, so people get twice as much bang for the buck. But it's interesting because I was well, something you just said. You have a lot of fun doing it. You get to meet a lot of nice, cool, different people that you would never meet before. And it just, to me, Ask a CEO is a product of my being in the business for 30 years, talk to hundreds of CEOs. And I always came away from those conversations with a little pearl, right? On, on a little insight into how they got to be a CEO and how they run their businesses. So it's wonderful that you're doing it in the healthcare space. I love doing it. I wish you all the best of luck because it's really kind of cool. I don't know if we're quite up to 50 yet, but we're gaining on you. So watching your rearview mirror, we're right behind. I love it. I love it. I love it. I really love it. It's, it's something different from my day to day. I get to, I get to meet people like yourself and, and find out a little bit more about what's really going on in the world. So I appreciate you being on the show. I'd like to ask you, like I ask all my CEOs, because our audience are CEOs and those trying to get to the C-suite. So there's two basic questions I always like to ask the guests. One, the best advice you've ever gotten personally, and what advice would you give our audience of CEOs and those on their way to the corner office? So the best advice I've ever received pers uh, personally is to trust, trust your gut. There's so many instances where you try to create the pros and cons list and it's just like taking a test, right? In many cases, your first answer, whether you second guess yourself or not, is the correct answer. So really listen to your gut. Very rarely will it lead you astray. Uh, and as far as what advice I would have for people, it would be really really focus in initially on a niche, but have that bigger vision in mind. Like we have a much, uh, our, our vision's pretty big, but we're focusing on the credentialing side of things first because of its initial high pain that gets you into the space, mm -hmm. um, into the healthcare space. So focus in on something uh, smaller at first, but that has a bigger vision behind it. So you're taking, you're taking your, your concept now and you're going to be building upon that over time to broaden out your reach 
and your service lines, correct? Yes. Yeah. We want there to be a point where there's like 50 plus services, anything you can order uh, using your own data with consent. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's really exciting. I know we've done that here. We've created an agency that's 360 degrees. Everything is in-house, including a TV studio. So we've tried to make ourselves that one-stop shop, as you said, right? So listen, I'd love to you to tell the audience how they can get a hold of you, how they can get more information about either Block Health or Slice of Healthcare podcast. Just please look, let's get the information out there. Yeah, so best bet is to connect with me on LinkedIn. It's just uh, Jared, J-A-R-E-D-S, as in uh, Taylor, T-A-Y-L-O-R. And uh, I'll usually connect with people if uh, they're not, they're not necessarily trying to, to sell me something or at least right away, right? Like, I'm yeah. okay. You can sell me something or you try, but uh, yeah. as long as it's not the, in the invite message. And then as far as learning more about Block Health, uh, you can just head over to bloc.health.com. We are launching a new website in the next, uh, I'm hoping in the next two weeks it'll be live. Um, I'm very excited to have that out. It'll provide more learning material on what we're building. And then Slice of Healthcare is just sliceofhealthcare.com. Well, thank you so much, Jared, for being on the show. I thank you. Be safe under these COVID situations. And I'd just like to say to the audience, don't miss another up, upcoming episode of uh, Ask a CEO Interviews. We'll have invited guests from all industries all over the country and the world. You can catch up with us at gregscorneroffice.com for the full video version, or you can listen to your favorite podcast platform and get the podcast. So thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time.